Today we're going to talk about how some days are in Acts 16 day. Can you say amen? Title of my message today is Breakthrough Worship. Let, let's look at Acts chapter 16. I end suddenly. Ah. There came a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. Do you see whose chains were unfastened? The people who are listening to the breakthrough worship. Sometimes you're in, you're in worship and something gets on you and you're like, I don't know, I don't know what got on me just now. But because there's somebody in chains that's watching your worship that's going to bring them breakthrough. See, I worship for freedom, not just mine. We don't just sing songs here. Worship, put it up. Worship is a, it's, a, it's an event. It's a supernatural encounter with God. Worship is an event. It's a supernatural encounter with God. We don't just sing songs. I understand that's a good place to start. It's a good place to start singing songs. Singing songs is a good place to start. But that can't be the end. That can't be the goal. The goal can't just be sing. The goal has to be a supernatural encounter with God. Some of you are just like burning in your heart that there's something you're supposed to be doing. And in this season, for whatever reason, God's saying no, but that doesn't mean you're not supposed to be sowing into it for someone else. Oh, I'm supposed to be a worship leader, you know, leading worship around the world, but God has not released me yet. Well, why don't you pay for some studio time for somebody else? Why don't you go ahead and support somebody else's ministry? I'm supposed to be a, a preacher, whoever. Well, why don't you send an offering to somebody who is doing that? Why don't you store up some, some resource for somebody who is doing that? Why don't you begin to collect it? And I just got to tell some people that you're not done it yet because you're not prepared yet. And instead of waiting for God to send you to get prepared, start studying and preparing right now. You see, just showing up is not enough. Write this down. God is expecting worship. Wow. Psalm 22, 3 says, You are holy, O you who are enthroned upon the praises of Israel. God is expecting worship. You see, praise, praise is a, is a, is a physical expression. It's a it's a, it's a physical manifestation of spiritual attitudes. It, it, it's an inner response of the heart to a revelation of God and his greatness. Praise is physical. It's not mental. It's physical. And, 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 and there's a physical action that's manifested from a heart of praise. Praise, hear me, is something we do. Say it with me. Praise is something we do. God told me this this morning in my devotions as I was just talking to God. He said, tell people this. He said, he said, this is what he said. I want to read to you. He says, he says, when you make your body an instrument of praise, I will make your life praiseworthy. Come on. When you make your body an instrument of praise, I will make your life praiseworthy. This is Christianity. People need to know. need to let them know. This is Christianity. This is what God has promised us when we actually praise him back to our story of solomon second corinthians excuse me second chronicles five in unison when the trumpeters and the singers were to make themselves heard with one voice to praise and to glorify the mm, come on and when mm, and when they lifted up their voice accompanied by trumpets uh oh we got the band coming in now and cymbals we got frank coming in come on and instruments of music we got Mikey and Rebecca coming in, and we got Brandon coming in. Watch out. And when they praise the Lord, saying, He indeed is good, for His loving kindness is everlasting. Watch this. Then the house of the Lord was filled with cloud, so that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud for the, watch this, glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some days... Are an axe 16 day. Can you say amen?